WJTV 12 News has been following the city of Jackson's push to stop illegal dumping. Tonight, we focus on a portion of Northwest Jackson, Hilda Drive. So I don't know if it's a, a lack of education that they don't know, but or if it's just blatant disregard or disrespect for our city, but um, this is where we live. This is Hilda Drive. There are no houses or businesses on the street and people use it to dump entire households, tires, animal carcasses, construction debris, and much more. There's nobody over here to see what they're doing. There, um, there are no cameras in this area. There's no lighting in this area. So unfortunately, this is one of our most attractive areas for dumping in the city of Jackson. But city leaders say that is going to change. The Stop Trashing Jackson citywide campaign has begun. We need this street blocked off. We are also working with the Hines County Economic Development Authority um, to try to get some lighting out here as well as cameras. Much of the work revolves around changing the culture of the people who do everything from throwing their trash out the car window to dumping just about everything else anywhere they can. I see two mattresses here on the side of the curb. Your second collection day, you can put mattresses out to your curb with your regular household garbage um, to be picked up. I see limb piles. You know, this is just regular trash that you can put out to the curb for a collection. With so many resources to deal with trash and debris, both Weathers and Lee agree that educating the public and cracking down with hefty fines may be necessary to clean up the city and keep it that way.